some controversial moves from the U.S. president once again. Yeah, and we've just gotten the final wording of these actions. And actually, it seems like some of the more controversial measures have been removed from this final wording versus draft copies we had obtained earlier in the week. It was at the swearing in of the new defense secretary, James Mattis, former Marine Corps general who goes by the nickname Mad Dog, that U.S. President Donald Trump signed these two executive actions, the first to expand the U.S. military. That measure calls for increased troop totals and more sophisticated weapon systems to come online in the coming years. The U.S. military currently has about 1.3 million active duty members. The Pentagon will have 30 days now to put together new recommendations for fighting ISIL and a year to put together a new national security plan that will modernize the U.S. nuclear arsenal and enhance cyber warfare capabilities. The second action limits immigration from predominantly Muslim countries through what Trump calls extreme vetting. The goal there, stop foreign terrorists from entering the U.S. I'm establishing new vetting measures to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of the United States of America. We don't want them here. We want to ensure that we are not admitting into our country the very threats our soldiers are fighting overseas. That measure would temporarily block all refugees from entering the U.S. and indefinitely stop refugees from war-torn Syria. The executive order says Hundreds of foreign-born individuals have Im been implicated in terror plots in the United States since September 11, 2001, which is true, but there have also been U.S.-born people implicated in attacks and plots during that time frame as well. Many critics say the measures unfairly target Muslims. Just about the only refugees that will be allowed into the U.S. now would be a small group of religious minorities, mostly Christians, in majority Muslim countries. I'll see I'm still working through these orders. A lot of details uh, in here, and I think how they uh, go about um, enacting some of these measures uh, will really um, have to play out over several months. Much of what's in here, as with many of Donald Trump's uh, campaign promises, are vague on detail. So we'll see how it plays out. All right, we'll let you go so you can uh, comb through that document. Jim Spellman, thank you. Thank you.